All right, listen up. We've all heard the horror stories of people grinding their lives away in little cubicles under fluorescent lights and fighting for promotions that don't even exist. Being up at the crack ass at dawn and not getting home until it's already dark and your whole family's asleep. That's corporate hell, and trust me, I've seen it firsthand. Let's talk about it. Apparently selling your soul for a paycheck and pretending that the company cares about you is living your best life. Yeah, right. Here's the truth they won't tell you. Big businesses don't care about you, your mental health, or your work-life balance. It's all a lie. You're a cog in the machine, and they'll keep spinning until you break down. So how do you escape corporate hell and find that work-life balance everyone keeps talking about? Well, stick around. I'm about to break it down to you. Let's start with the biggest lie of all, corporate success. They sell you this dream that if you work hard enough, stay loyal, climb the ladder, and play by their rules, you'll eventually make it. But what exactly are you making it to? More hours? More responsibilities? More stress? Congratulations, you're a manager now. Enjoy your 70-hour work week. But hey, at least you get a shiny title. Who cares if you missed your kid's soccer game or if you're drowning in emails on the weekend? The truth is, corporate success isn't real success. It's a hamster wheel that keeps spinning and spinning, but you never really go anywhere. You're just stuck in a loop, giving your best years to a company that doesn't care whether you burn out, quit, or drop dead from stress. And all the while, you're sacrificing your health, your family, and your happiness. For what? A bigger paycheck and a fancier title? That ain't worth it to me. And let's talk about loyalty for a second. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Corporate loyalty is dead. Big business has no loyalty to you and you owe them absolutely nothing. I've worked in large companies and I've seen it up close. The moment you stop being profitable or useful, they'll cut you loose without a second thought. Doesn't matter how many years you've put in, how many late nights you've worked, or how many sacrifices you've made. When push comes to shove, they'll downsize, outsource, or automate your job the second it's convenient. So why should you be loyal to a company that sees you as expendable? The only loyalty you should have is to yourself and the people who truly matter in your life, your family, your friends, and those who actually care about you as a person. Corporate loyalty is a one-way street, and if you're waiting for the company to care about you, you'll be waiting forever. Now let's tackle the holy grail of corporate life, work-life balance. They love to sell you this idea that you can have it all, the career, the family, the free time, but here's the thing. Corporate jobs are designed to chew up your time. They don't want you to have work-life balance because that would mean you're not dedicating your life to the company. They want you available 24-7. They want you answering emails at 10 p.m., joining last-minute calls, and being on call even during your days off. That is bullshit. They don't care about your balance. They care about their bottom line. You're just a tool to be used until it's no longer convenient. The reality is the only way to achieve work-life balance is is to take control of your own time. And that's not going to happen if you're working for someone else who decides how you spend your day. If you want real balance, you either break free from the corporate grind or put up some serious boundaries. So how do you break free from this corporate hell? How do you break free from the soul-sucking grind and actually live your life? Here's how you do it. Step one, realize that you're just a cog. First, accept the fact that you're just a cog in their machine. The sooner you realize that, the sooner you can stop wasting your energy trying to impress people who don't give a damn about you. You're not going to climb your way to happiness in a corporate job. That's just the reality. Step two, start taking control of your time. Next, start reclaiming your time, set boundaries, stop answering emails after hours, don't let the company guilt trip you into working late or on weekends, and if that doesn't fly with your boss, maybe it's time to look for something else. It's your life. Why should somebody else decide how you spend it? Step three, build something for yourself. Here's the big one. If you really want to escape corporate hell, you need to start building something for yourself. That could mean starting your own business, freelancing, or finding a job that gives you more autonomy. The point is, stop relying on corporations to define your success. Build something that's yours, something that allows you to control your own time and your own future. You are the master of your own destiny. You have the reins of success in your hands. Don't let anybody rip that away from you. 
I've seen it up close, working for big companies where people are miserable, overworked, and undervalued. In those environments, people sacrifice everything for the sake of climbing a ladder that leads nowhere. And trust me, I've watched talented people burn out and quit because they finally realized it wasn't worth it. I've been there too. I've worked in industries where the corporate mindset was all about squeezing every last drop out of employees without any regard for their well-being. The focus was on numbers, metrics, and efficiency, not on people. And you know what? That's not how I wanted to live my life. The corporate world sells you this illusion of stability, success, and balance, but in reality, it's a trap. A trap designed to keep you working longer, harder, and sacrificing more than you should for a company that doesn't give a damn about you. If you want real success, if you want real work-life balance, you need to break free from that illusion. You need to build something for yourself, or at the very least, set up your life so that you're the one in control. Don't let them convince you that more work is the key to happiness, it's not. At the end of the day, work should serve your life, not the other way around. If your job is taking over every aspect of your existence, you're doing it wrong. You need to work for freedom, not for a corporation that's just using you to pad their bottom line. Think about what really matters in your life, your family, your health, your happiness. Those are the things that should come first. So if you're stuck in corporate hell, it's time to start planning your escape. And if you want to know more about how to do it, hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe because I'm just getting started with this shit. Leave a comment down below and let me know how you're planning your corporate escape.